a very splendid five days here just north of Braunston. A nice chunk of editing done and now about a quarter of a mile to the service point in Braunston. Top off the water tank, empty the loo, get rid of some rubbish and buy some diesel in Braunston Marina. It's a Sunday, it's sunny, it's very warm but thankfully a cooling breeze and it also means there's a lot of boat activity about this morning. What a splendid village Braunston is and its canal area. That butcher shop was like something out of a bygone time. of Aslan and the Gent. Have you seen their travels before? Well, did you know that they're back again and cruising the canals once more? Sold up, downsized for a minimalised alternative life afloat. Going boldly where thousands have been before. One man, one life, one boat. This morning, after performing my various essential boaty duties, I'll be turning off the Oxford at Braunston Junction, which for about five miles becomes the Grand Union. At Napton Junction, the Grand Union turns off to the right, and I'll be continuing on what becomes the Oxford again. About a mile after the junction, I'll then look for somewhere to moor up, because the scattered village of Napton on the Hill is right nearby, with a handy shop. Bridge 89 is a handy shortcut to the high street and the shops. Slightly steep, but cuts out a huge loop and a very busy main road. The main road The water point is just down here. I'm not sure if there's already a boat moored there. Uh, there might be room. I believe there is. That's rubbish disposed of and toilet emptied 
and water tank filled. Next stop, Braunston Marina. That is the junction I will be heading down along the Grand Union Canal and then joining up with the Oxford. Braunston Marina about a quarter mile along the Grand Union heading towards the Braunston Tunnel. I won't be going through there. Sizeable expenditures tend to come together all at the same time on a canal boat. Back there I popped into Midland Chandler's and bought 15 litres of Morris SAE 30 Golden Film uh, engine oil so I can do an oil change at some point, probably in the next month. And now I'm going to be getting, I don't know, probably what, 30, 35 litres of diesel at £1.40 a litre with a 60-40 heating uh, propulsion split. Uh, so like I say, yeah, it all comes at the same time. As do canal boats in opposing directions. You can bet your bottom dollar it'll be on a narrow bridge at a blind bend. Wash day tomorrow. Nothing clean, right? Now, the entrance for the marina is just down here by this white bridge. My word, that is a staggering boat. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn in here. Tricky maneuver by the look of it, nice and tight. I'll need both hands for this maneuver. Easier than I thought. So you, you well, I've, I've got to take a picture of that though. Yeah, get a shot of me looking rugged, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty six point three litres at one pound forty per litre. That's it. Came to fifty pounds and eighty two P. Just keeping an eye on that black cloud, I think it's only temporary. So let's get going. Next stop, Napton on the Hill, or thereabouts.
very busy. That was a little bit on the tricky side, but nothing I couldn't handle. Yeah, they're still open for takeaway coffee. I think I might just jump off and get myself a latte. Yes, please. What's your name? Oh, no. <laughs> you never it's... know from minute to minute. That is how it's been. The old Bronston British Waterways stop house and local office. Now a nice kind of tea garden. Fingers crossed that dark cloud's not coming to anything. Narrowboat Tilly. I don't think that's Dan Brown's Tilly. Coming up then, Bronson Junction, or Bronston Turn as it's known. And this will be the first totally new canal to me in some time. Since the Ashby, actually. In we go then. Yeah, exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to doing this stretch of the Oxford. Well, well into the unknown. Bronston Turnover Bridge. So cool because when a horse was towing a boat, the horse could walk over the bridge and then hook up with a boat coming in the opposite direction. The canal and the surrounding area once again becomes extremely rural. As I say, Napton on the Hill is the nearest place where you can buy supplies. Simple grocery shopping. First opportunity, I'll let this boat past, I think. He's clearly much quicker than Aslan. Yeah, get yeah, go by, yeah. I, I've pulled in to let you through. Pulled over to let one boat past, and then four came along at once. But it was nice to stand and chat to this lady here who's uh, working on our boat. Oh my god. It's a bit shallow here. I'm going to get grounded here. I need to reverse up, don't I? Oh my god.
I think that's all part of the fun. The lady back there says stay away from the off towpath. There's a big old boat blocking the canal here. I think he's trying to turn round. From a distance I thought it was a sharp bend in the canal, but it's not. He said he'll blame the crosswind. Still, he made a successful turn. This is more canal life than I've seen in a good year at least. A fellow old smoker. Superb moorings along here, but nowhere near any facilities. Or Napton. Now they come to a blinding stop there. Looks like the long-term solution to my horn problem is not Vaseline. Has it stopped working again? I think I'll just hop off and fix it. I need my horn because the canal's about to get very windy. Sorted now for a bit longer. Must get round to actually soldering the uh, wires on, not relying on you know crimp spade connectors. They don't last forever. That was a very nice spot. I was sorely tempted to moor there, but I only have enough food for tonight. And with my strict editing schedule, each day counts at the moment. Just spent the last five days editing at Braunston. Then I need to spend today filming. And then tomorrow I need to get back to spending four or five days doing more editing. If I don't, I'll soon run out of spare episodes and I won't be putting one up every Friday. And we can't have that now, can we? Yeah, very sharp, twisty.
The key thing with these twisty narrow canals is to go slow and anticipate that there will be a boat coming the other way. I get a regular stream of questions and comments regarding Aslan's engine and her smoking. Basically, she smokes a lot, I know. Um, do I know she smokes a lot? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm stood here looking at it all day long. I am fully aware that she smokes. And I'm also aware that she requires a top-end rebuild. Probably not this winter, but next winter, 2024, um, I will be giving the engine you know, a stripped down top end. So that's cylinder head, uh, block, pistons, rings, uh, rebore, like I say, next winter. And I will, of course, film the whole thing. So that will be a nice winter series of videos to look forward to in 2024. The rebuild of Aslan's heart. Strangely though, she doesn't use an awful lot of oil. I probably put in 100 mils every seven days of running. If you say about four hours each time I'm cruising, but at the moment, over a course of a week, that works out about eight hours, and she's using 100 milliliters of oil. Whatever that is in American. I will say one thing in Aslan's defence. First thing in the morning when you start her up, she smokes like crazy. But once she's up to temperature, it eases off. Due to uh, the pistons and rings expanding and seals it up a bit better. But the initial hour or so, because she does take a long time to warm up, she likes to have a smoke. Got a wide beam coming through. Very good. That's just pure skill, that, isn't it? Yeah, typical. It's me as well, eh? <laughs> A young gentleman there that moves boats for a living. In this case, a wide beam. That was bridge 103, and now around two miles to Napton Junction. From Napton Junction to the first locks about two miles away, Anywhere along there will be nice to moor up. That's a big family.
when you've been continuously cruising for some time and then you decide to stop for a while on a mooring put down roots so to speak even if it's just for six months you inevitably start to uh, build sort of friendships and little circles little groups and then the day comes when you have to rip yourself away from all of that and go back to the life of the uh, the traveller. It's sod's law that you will always meet loads of boats on blind bends and under bridges. Uh, as the owner said, it's all free advertising. So if you have a business that's uh, refused me to film around in the past, it's your loss, isn't it?